At the beginning of this project, we didn't actually have a show. We didn't have a musical. We didn't have songs. We didn't have the script. You know, we had an outline of the story, but that dropped and changed. I did realize that actually we had to come up with some sort of set that was going to have a fluidity to it and a flexibility. So you have to think on your feet and get to the workshops and stop something being built and redesign something else. And for me, what I like to do is start to do some drawings. I do sketches. And then it moves quite rapidly into cardboard models. So we use all of those elements, anything to communicate an idea. So whether it's drawing, whether it's computer graphics, whether it's um, ripping things out of magazines, whatever it is, just just to, just to essentially illustrate what you're what you're trying to get across. Then we would hear songs that they'd just written and think, oh, we can't stage it like that now. The escape's got to be really, really different to that. Listen to that music. You know, there's, it's got to be have this rhythm to it. The floor's got to move in this way. So we fire off each other. We're really, really lucky we were able to have. You know, DreamWorks helped us with storyboards. That's their bag, and they were able to animate certain things. And we had a we actually animated the whole set at one point just so that we could see what we were dealing with. Another place DreamWorks, the animation team has been so helpful in research and developing a real-time animation technology. The actor who plays the magic mirror is actually backstage, and he has his wife, he has sensors on his face. So actually, he's what he's actually acting in real time. I'm doing a motion capture system that's never been done live on a Broadway stage before. So I'm using my voice to make the mirror's voice come to life, which is like doing a voiceover. But I'm also using my face to basically puppeteer the computer animation. Things are going to happen on the stage that have never ever been seen on a Broadway stage or any stage around the world anywhere. Hugh Van Stern I've worked with on a number of occasions. It's really important with a set designer, a costume designer, a light designer to all be talking the same language. And I feel with Hugh that he sort of paints with light. Working with Tim, well, he's a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. No, Tim is just a brilliant ideas man. Ideas come flying out of him. And so I spent a lot of time, I think more time than I've spent on any other show in his design studio. We both agreed that there was the opportunity in Shrek for some almost rock and roll lighting, that it needn't be too politely theatrical. We've got these sliders at the side of the stage, and the idea is that these sliders are in the picture all night long, so we didn't want them to just be one fixed thing. Not only do they move, but they also, in our case, light up into different colours. The green portals at the edge of the stage are packed with, it's literally millions of LEDs, each one of which is individually controlled and mapped. I want it to be fairy tale. I want it to be magical. I wanted kids to sort of be in awe of it because I figured in a lot of cases it might be their first Broadway show. Um, and to sort of feel the magic of what it feels like to watch the stage transform and to go on that journey with them. It's all about the transitions. It's going from one place to another. And I think scenically as a, as a set designer, you know, I think it's, it's, it's one's job to really try and get those transitions to work as magically as possible, to, to get the, the scenery to be as seamless as, as possible, almost treat it like another member of the company, like another actor. This floor it's actually very, very tricky to work out exactly how it works in real life. But the premise is simple. It's three revolves. It's one large revolve. We come in about eight feet and then we've got another revolve. And then inside that revolve is a smaller revolve. Because they all work independently and they can all go in different directions, there's a slight sense of how is how's that coming out of the floor and moving forward and not leaving a big hole in the stage, um, which, is, which is quite pretty. It's been, it really has been a, a, a great experience. All, all I thought about for the last three years, essentially, was Shrek the Musical. I think this show has a lot of heart, a lot of, a lot of joy, uh, a lot of visual treats, and uh, I think that's what makes it work. There's something about doing a musical, because of the length of time that it goes on, it, 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 there's something that really, really um, it becomes ingrained into you. It's part of your life. I just don't even think of it as a job. I just wake up in the morning, clean my teeth and think I've just got to go and, you know, sort out my green world.